Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to Highway 30. I'm Amy. And I'm Sarah. And we're here to help you get creative. A fun, quick craft for you to do before the holidays when you have just a spare few minutes. So we have three single ornament craft kits for you to try this year. So today we've got ornament number three for you. Yay, and this is three in a series of three. So we're gonna link the first two ornament videos in the description box below so you can catch up. That's where you'll also find our entire Christmas ornament collection uh, in a playlist. Yeah, we've got some good ones over the years. Yeah, check that out too. For this third ornament that we have this week, awesome wood around that we're working with. And instead of a decal today, we are going to be painting with a stencil. Obviously the first step we need to do is to put the stencil on the wood before we can start painting it. Rub a little bit with your finger to make sure that it's stuck to your transfer paper and then pull off the backing. The round outer edge is going to help you to center this onto your wood round. Make sure your tree is pointing hole that's been drilled. Rub it down with your finger. And then just like we did with our music ornament, you're gonna peel it away from the side. It sticks to that wood. These are sticking really well. Rounds. Right. Now we have our miniature, oops, <laughs> miniature plaster. Well, I can't keep that in my hand. From Waverly. Pop that open. There is quite a bit in here. You can choose to do this any way you'd like. You might want to just give it a light brush so you can still see the wood grain through here, or you might want to give it some full coverage. We're just gonna paint and try if any of that outer edge is exposed. Let's keep the paint off of that. That edge is why you really wanna make sure you definitely put the round circle part of the stencil on here. That'll give you a nice clean edge around the circle. All right, we're gonna let that first coat dry and then we'll come back and see if we wanna put a second coat. This is really cool how you can see the wood grain through the paint, but I am gonna go ahead and add another coat. <laughs> the texture of the grains is still coming through, which I like. All right, I'm gonna go wash my brush and let this dry before we get to hanging it. We're all dry, so the exciting part, get to peel off the stencil and reveal what we've done. Let's create our hanger by tying our double knot at the end. So one knot, and then we're gonna do a second knot, and you wanna make it land over that first knot. So you might have to work with your thread a little bit as you tighten it to make sure that it does go over the first knot, because we wanna just make that knot big enough so that our bead doesn't slide off. After you get your knot, then you're gonna to go to the other end, and just kind of twist your fab your thread a little bit and send it through the bead. And just if you twist as you go, then it'll eventually pop out the other side. Now we have our hanger. In order to get the knot that you make on the right side, I'm going to, I just have to think about it like this. I'm gonna flip the project over and then that helps me remember that I'm gonna go up through the top. So I'm gonna go this way. In other words, I would lay my project on top and thread it through that way. So we're always gonna go down through the top. Same technique of twisting your thread will help you get it through that little hole. As soon as it pops through, you can pull it. Now you have your two sides. You're just gonna send your bead through the loop and pull it tight. 
and then your little knot is showing on the front. Oh my goodness, I love it. Let's go add it to the other two. We're so glad that you joined us today to see this transformation. We hope you enjoyed watching us, and if this inspires you to create something similar, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And while you're there, please click on the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next week.